Uh, I might get rid of that and put some recruitment stuff in now that it's all max size. Is that actually max size? No, it isn't. That's going to take an absolute year to get to max size. Let's you know. Just absolute poggers. Okay, I'm guessing you're talking about some tabletop stuff, so I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to no comment that because uh, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, yeah, baby. Burning through these Skaven. Although this does mean I'm probably... Oh, 40k, right. I don't know. The only thing I know about 40k is that someone put, like, a cool image on the Discord of, like... It was either a Legion called the Damned or, like, a Legion they'd, like, photoshopped and then called it the Damned. Either way, it looked real cool. And I'm going to steal that image and use it for my own purposes. Uh, which one has... Which one has Savage Orcs in? All Orc infantry. So that counts, doesn't it? Legion of the Damned. Yeah. It was like... They were like clad in fire and everything. They look real cool. <gasps> Ooh, I could do a warg. Alright, if I do a war... Oh, sorry. I always put the G on it. I'm sorry. Okay, it has a G on the end. So I put a G on the end of it. Okay, that's, that's literally my excuse. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, sh I should probably just pick that up because I'll forget. If you ever get a 40k tall wall, I can't wait to see if you sell. Oh, believe me, if we ever get a 40k tall wall, the law will be the last thing tripping me up. Shooting and firing lines. Like I played Empire for a little bit. Yep, could not work that one out. I'm, I was really interested in like the revolutionary stuff, and nope, could not work it out. All like tall wall games, other than Warhammer, I just I can't, can't get myself into it. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not. My, why can't I move him? Probably because it's not my unit. Do you know what makes Dark Elves worst faction do if you're in this world? If they ever become a slave and break you down, they are renowned for turning useless slaves into furniture. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. New new Dark Elf DLC idea. I know they've had plenty of DLCs, but new Dark Elf DLC idea. It's kind of like the Grom food mechanic, but instead of collecting ingredients, you collect pieces of furniture made out of different species. <laughs> like, ah, I have my... <laughs> I have my skink skin chair over here. Hmm. Minus six leadership for when fighting <laughs> lizard men. Ugh, tell me that won't be a great mechanic instead of, you know, recruiting beasts from other factions. That being said, Rakath, if you haven't tried him already, my boy's OP. Oh, I forgot to do the recording again. Oh, God damn it. Oh, well. I just have to put it together like I do the ones. That's what said. Yeah, actually probably do that. What's more for Kugaf, Plague Favorite? Oh, God, I don't... God, when, you, when you start saying this nerd shit, it just it turns me on, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I need some more water. Damn it. Although it's nearly six o'clock. You know, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's past five o'clock here, but I like, I like to keep it six o'clock before, you know, we start drinking. Otherwise, it's just it's a, it's a slippery slope, I'll tell you what. All right, should I declare a wag against the dude? A wah. No shit. <laughs> Learn your law plan. No, I don't want to. I don't like reading. I don't like listening to you, so... Like that, that's my two options, just gone. Where's he? He said he had a Death Gorge. Where is Death Gorge? Oh, yeah, it's all the way over there. That's a real bitch to get to. 100 tequila shots right now. Um, As much as I like alcohol poisoning, I'm going to say no. Well, well, thanks for offering. All right, let's see how many... So many summons have got him down to... He's probably gained some. Known the uh, known the Skaven. 22, yeah, he's lost basically nothing. I could wag against him. I'm, I'm winning pretty much. Guess what orcs use for currency? It just says income. I'm, I'm concerned. What do they use for currency? Wait. Wait. Is it a pun? I smell a pun incoming. The detector's going off the charts. Go on, what do they use for currency? Let me know. Use their teeth. Oh, that wasn't as punny as I hoped it'd be. It wasn't punny at all because it wasn't a pun. Their teeth, that's... It's kind of going to lump the toxicity in the chat. I mean... It is what it is, you know. We're, we're, all just, we're all just having good fun. I don't secretly actually hate him with a burning passion. No, not at all. It's all just good fun. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You just tell how much fun I'm having. I hate him. There it is. Yeah. It's all part of our story arc, though. Like, we go from rivals to, uh, to friends to lovers, and then, you know, back to rivals. It's it's all part of the story arc. I mean, no, I don't aim. 
Evil sons are bad moons and known to be more wealthy. It's due to how fast their teeth grow. Well, that, that's fun to know. Big teeth are worth more than small teeth. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Although that never worked with the tooth fairy. It was always one pound. That cheap bitch. I want more. Right, I could work against him. But. Do I want to? Does it mean 10? What does the 10 mean? <laughs> Someone explain. Faction strength rank. Oh, right. Boost trophy ranks 1 to 10. Uh, wait, what? Who's that? Oh, it's the Empire. Is it? Yes, yes, we're not fighting those. But those are strength rank 10. So that gets us the biggest trophy. So. I think we're going to do that. I have to go back to rivals. Divorce, yes. He took the kids. No, you can have the kids. I don't want them. I'm good. You can... Please take them. That, that's where the divide came. We both... Neither of us want the kids. Right, here we go. We've done the wag. I'm scared. So I never discovered why the orcs speaking of broken English. Yeah, they're based on football hooligans, didn't they? Oh, fuck. I was hoping I'd be able to resurrect the dude. I mean, if I can't get out it's not exactly the end of the world. You know, last time I played the greenskins... I, I'm pretty sure I showed him off, so it's it's really not that bad. It's just kind of inconvenient. But I will survive. The more you know. No can only leave your kids and not play child sport. How dare you? I'm a very supportive, distant, separated partner, okay? I'm not going to have you slander my good name like this. I mean, said, I don't earn enough to pay child sport, so... You know, there is that. All right, can he take this? Yes. Oh, well, I'll just have to retake it after he's finished. It's the best I can do. I'm bad farmer. <laughs> I'm 21. What do you want from me? I'm going to be a good farmer at 21. Come on. Ugh, no. Let's not talk about it. It, makes me, it gives me palpitations. All right, everyone's moved. Cool. When the orcs are created... It be soldiers, their voice is supposed to be intimidating. Oh, yes, nothing more intimidating than a football hooligan. Normally a short red man wearing a t-shirt, some denim shorts, and some sketches. That's your average, <laughs> that's your average football hooligan. Uh, he's got too many heroes, you can't beat that many heroes if you don't have any. Anyways, back to gluing these minis, we'll be back every now and then to break your soul more. Well, thank you very much, it's been, it's been a pleasure seeing you leave. I would say. <laughs> Millwall most into Oh yeah, the Millwall brick. Those guys are crazy. They they weren't allowed to bring weapons in because you know, obviously. So what they start doing, they start like folding like newspapers over hard objects and like making a hammer. And they were they can like put a dent in steel. <laughs> it's it's serious stuff. Football fans are ridiculous. It's probably from enjoying an inferior sport, you know. Why do you have such... Oh, I hate moving from the mountains. No one has any move range. We're just going to an ambush here, just, just for the funds. Ooh, Lava Ragnarok Spider. Yes, please. I'll take that. Yes, I will. Go, Kizapi. Is that serious? Just give us 99 for nothing? Oh, and more weapon strength. Or is that just to do with the wag? The wah. Inferior sport, well killed, can't tell us what sport is superior. Rugby. Honestly, I'd rather watch darts than watch football. It's just, ugh. I don't care for it. So we can roast ever living soul. You can you can try. Yes, gaming, that, that is a superior sport. Requires the utmost physical performance. See such specimens as Ninja Fortnite Tyler Blevins. That man's an athlete. And you can't tell me otherwise. I wonder if they raised this or if they just, you know, did it. Oh my god, the move range around here. Oh, it makes me sick. I like rugby. Wonder why. This is a Chad spot. Blood Bowl is better. Hmm. Blood Bowl, isn't that just basic? I haven't played it. I should probably play it. Isn't it basically just American football, but, you know, with warmer stuff and death and blood, obviously? Oh, use the underways. How interesting. Right, I was literally just going over here to scout if Elfarin had any hidden salmons. Well, I'm fine now. Is Tyrion scary? 
Not that I needed any confirmation. I always knew that Tyrion was scary, but um, Tyrion's scary. Yep, that's both Poland in a nutshell. I should really play on stream one time. What hammer American football? I, I I really don't understand American football. Also, I'm peeking the shell this mic. I don't understand American football. Like, why is it called football if you only kick it like never? <laughs> Like it's, it just seems to be like rugby, but you have like 800 breaks in play every 10 minutes. They have Nurgle team. Well, I need to... <laughs> well, let me let me close this game and start playing that instead because I want to play as Papa Nurg. Oh, yes. Glorious. Right. That's given us a nice head start in taking on a... Taking on the old crack. Americans stealing English ideas since the revolution. Ah, yes. One thing I find really interesting is whenever you speak to Americans, they as an English person, they always like ask like, "Oh, do you like learn about the revolution?" It's like, no. <laughs> so oh, that's like, it's like a massive part of their curriculum over there. We're just like, eh, kind of happened, and then we just kind of like moved on. You know, <laughs> no big deal. Just more of the petulant child getting, getting out of its angst. All right, let's cut, let's cut that off there before I insult any more massive percentages of my audience. I think they are going to heavily sense chaos when they are released, given that Slash is over-sexual. I, right, tell you what I want. I want them. I want them to... All right, so you know we're blood for the blood god. I want them to have, like, boob for the boob god for Slanesh. It's like blood for the blood god, but it's all nudie and stuff. And, like, horrifically graphic units for Slanesh. And like in the base game, all his units just like super reserved. And I think it, I, in fact, I know it'd sell. English people still sell him. Nah, I think, I think <laughs> they just don't care. It's like, uh, you know, we, we kind of tried to colonize over there. Uh, it didn't really work. We did it everywhere else though, and then we realized it was kind of bad. So, you know, it's a win-win, win-win-win, really. I could speak. Right, he's going to need to wait there for a couple of turns to get his old HP back. Hope Nurgle will be able to spread the right opponent's units to convert them in. Ooh, converting enemy units would be a nice addition. I mean, it'd be a little bit strong, maybe, but I would, I'd love to see something like that. That's the whole thing. Oh, yeah, it's just those two. <sighs> How exciting. Oh, hello there, thunk, thunk, thung, thungy. Thungy. See, annoying thing about fighting, using all the underways and stuff. It just takes you so long to get anywhere and do anything. Wow, he has a weak garrison there. Okay, okay. Wait, am I at war with them? Hmm. Not gonna lie, I didn't think it'd make me go to war with them because I used the wag rather than the war. Oh well. Not the end of the world, for sure. Jesus. Okay, we get it. Uh, sure, I'll get back here. Where's that? Where are you? You're there. You upgrade. The foot of Gork. Is there a better spell than the foot of Gork? The answer is no. Big brain idea. If you want Nurgle and you win a battle, you can pick an option to raise that. Ooh, that'd be a cool mechanic. Kind of like Beast Taman, but you know, even cooler. Because it has Nurgle in it <laughs> instead of some, some Dark Elf dork. Although, like, true story here, um, when when they said it's Beast Lord, I was like, oh shit, it's the Beastmen, finally. And then it wasn't the Beastmen, I was like, oh. I've been, in fact, jibbated. <laughs> it did not feel good. But it was still exciting to get some a new content anyway. By the power of pistols, like Poxwalkers. Oh yeah, and they just literally, like, disease on legs. Pretty epic. God, clan malls are everywhere. I thought clan malls just kind of like get evaporated and then consumed by another scaven clan. Rather than, you know, doing this. Yeah, Nurgle will raise what they have in BB. What's BB? Uh, who do you want to give speed to? I would say you. And who? Who? Okay, Black Ox. Well, that's who we're giving it to. 
Maybe the units you raise are covered in scabs and bottles. Yeah, they're like weaker versions, but they like just plague around them. That'd be cool. Imagine if Nurgle changed any races, warriors, into pox walking zombies like giant spiders. Oh, right. That's something that they need to do for the vampire counts, like a big buff. Like, I know you're saying they could do it for Nurgle. They could easily do it for a vampire counts. Literally just like an enemy unit dies, you can raise it as a zombie. So it's like zombie giant, zombie Saigor, zombie steam tank. <laughs> Why not? It's died. You can raise it. I don't mind paying 750 gold for a leadership. We might just be able to auto-resolve character in immediately. Yikes. That is quite cringe. Why is it so weak? Uh, get rid of that. Repair that. And then... I don't know, really. I suppose I can have another recruitment zone. Which is my favorite zone in Crystal Maze. But I'm Tish. Great joke. Hang on. We even have a laugh track. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Live studio audience, everybody. Look at that. I really need to get the round of applause one because I, I make the joke all the time, but I never actually have it. Yeah, I can beat that if he decides to uh, intercept me. I'd like to see Vampire get the ability to capture units and turn them into vam vampires. Yeah, exactly. It's like something dies and they can just be like, oh, yeah, that thing died. Let's just raise it from the dead. It'd be cool to see something like that, like, in battle. Like, a unit dies, and then the vampire's like, oh, well, resurrected on their side. So you could, like, target certain units and then bring them back to life, but that'd be really complicated to do. As would the zombies for all units to just, just, just let you know. Why can't I go over here? What's happened to the underways? Like, I, I easily got from here to there, and now I cannot. With your aid. No. <laughs> Two in one. My ship's war criminals. I was having a dog fight and with an enemy fighting. She was badly damaged. She said, I just want to go home in one piece. I sure is treat my destroyer, though. I was having none of it and shot with a gun whose barrel was larger than anything the ship was flying. <laughs> oh, dear. You know, the Geneva Conventions. Yeah, I think their jurisdiction ends once they get to space, but I don't think they'd be happy about that one. Also, this guy is going to come and frick me real bad. Which is a pity. Yeah, let's get immortality for you and for you, my friend. Let's go to Brain Buster. Some explosions. <laughs> Jedi violent the G Geneva Convention since yeah, pretty much all the time. Just in a constant state of violation. You should be the name of like someone's memoirs. I don't know why I sent him there. I just came and play what do you expect? Oh, Jedi. I didn't know you were a scaven scum. <laughs> oh, what a pity. Oh, we didn't lose any units either. Yeah. Oh, he's taking Galbraz. That's quick. How did he? I... How did he get there so fast? I thought he was like off somewhere. In fact, did you know... Uh, all works are somewhat psychic. What do you mean? All works are somewhat psychic. Escape night joke playing the most. Oh. My disappointment is immeasurable. My my day is ruined. My favorite faction is Vampire Coast. God. No one's favorite faction is Vampire Coast. I just came the most. Oh, you're a poet. I didn't even know you were rhyming those words. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Oh, no. I lost my snorling pump wagon flappers. Yeah, we're just gonna occupy that bad boy. Can we get anyone those here? Or am I gonna have to globally do it? How many turns it take? Shouldn't actually take that many. <gasps> just the one. I'm okay with that. Uh, is there any point putting that on to that one? There is not. Stick it on growth. I'll have a bit of psychic power. Oh, I'm Captain Art Resolve, okay? Because it works. I lost one unit. I consider that a win. I also saved myself a bunch of time. And you know, when you're trying to burn through a campaign like this so that you can pull the video out in a couple of weeks, that's what you gotta do. And when they were created in you know, the K, they just know how to build. <laughs> well, yeah, if they're like all connected, that kind of makes sense, I suppose, I guess. Uh, after having no frame of reference, I'm gonna say yes, that makes sense to me. 
possess mighty mystic powers. Oh, do you have mighty mystic powers? That's very nice. I do not have mighty mystic powers. <laughs> and I'm very sad about it. I'm in this dense fucking area of space, and it's just white and blue, and so what's my ship ready to fuck up station? That sounds rather spooky, to be honest with you, Chief. Rather spooky. Indeed. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Oh, so did I get assassinated? Because I swear it was hanging around here. Hmm. Can't see him. Which does kind of... Oh, no, he's there. I'm just blind. All right, let's focus on getting some of these guys out of here, then. Because this guy is almost definitely going to attack me. I want his army to be as weak as possible. I'm sure you have. I'm going to go there. I'm going to ambush. I know where ambush isn't the best. But if this guy tries to come up and this guy tries to come up, then, you know, we have half a chance at least. I'm just wasting this guy's points just so you know, just because he's kind of at max rank for what I want him for, so. Why not? Right, you have done... Okay, you can go in there. You can do a little bit more scouting, I suppose. If that's what makes you happy, then, my friend, you go for that. I may as well just build these. Because, I mean, there's no harm in it. I guess there's more gold. And I can't think of anything else to do. Any of you get anything cool? A global recruitment capacity local. Oh, sure, why not? I'll get that then. Right, you are ready to roll out this turn. So let's get you moving over to take on Queek. In space, your face is so fun. Oh, the joy. Sit in your pile of gold and you can do anything. Has anyone, ever, has anyone seen that, like, cursed Jeff Bezos meme? Where it's like... <laughs> what do you want to do when you grow up? Oh, I want to send a pile of gold. Oh, you can't do that, Jeff. And then it's just, like, a picture of Jeff Bezos, like, climbing on a... It's drawn, obviously, like, climbing on a massive thing of gold and being a dragon. It's so cursed. The worst part is I'm fighting the space equivalent of Bretonia, a space empire that focuses on trade and strong fighters and frigates and corvettes. They are fast, agile, and like to flank. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing about space combat. you got to be... Like, you can either be a big fat thing that does a buttload of damage, or you can be super quick and agile. It's like death by a thousand cuts type deal. God, oh, I find the Skaven is honestly such a, such a drag. And run if Grey is near. It's like, oh, what's that? I got attacked once. Okay, goodbye. Of course, you boy fine. Oh, that hurt my voice. Uh, <clears throat> Why is he still just sign him? Um, ooh, not force match. Sign force match, speaking of which. Lol. Took near casualties. Oh, and then I can go into this and regenerate. Oh, wait. The wag does not regenerate. That is depressing. Should probably um, upgrade his units. Well, that being said, am I going to keep them? Or am I going to swap some of them? I'm going to keep these. So I can upgrade. Eight defense. Wow. Eight meal defense for a unit. That large is really good. The thing about space combat is it's 3D. Too many guns up top. Just go and mm, check the gift links and shit post. Okay. Bear me one second. Uh, bonus versus large now. I'd rather you have the meal defense. Because that is that's crazy. Leadership or weapon strength. Probably the leadership. Uh, winged ammo for range or reload time reduction. Um... Reload time reduction. You guys. Bonus versus infantry. Or oh, physical resistance. I'll make you easy to keep alive. We're definitely keeping the black orcs. And we have no scrap. Freaking great. I'll take them out, boss. Oh well. 32% chance we'd got it last time. So, you know. Can't win them all, I suppose. Although, that would certainly be nice. Did I see that trolls have liquor flasks? <laughs> yeah, you know, they just need a bit of liquid courage. Ain't nothing wrong with that. How's that work? <laughs> it, it gives them leadership, okay? Because they're not scared if they're drunk. Try it, it works. Don't try it. Only drink if you're uh, of age and responsible. Speaking of which, 
It's six o'clock, baby. Shall I go get a drink? I'm, I'm considering doing that. Sounds like this channel. <laughs> Not wrong. Right. One turn. I'm going to go on into mission. I'm going to check Dead Eye's thing. Oh, good God. Are those all like little enemy ships? They are tiny little dudes, aren't they? Oh, Clan Moors. Fighting against rats, man, it is a drag. Right, right, right here. Let's wait for this all to sort out. That's fine. I'm gonna go get myself a brewski. Ooh, put my hat on there. My head for rack of full shimmy. Put my hat on my head. I don't like a gamer. Right, off to get a beverage. I'll be back in just a couple of moments. I'll see you in a sec. It's, it's. It is beer o'clock. It's six oh seven. That means I have heaven. <laughs> I don't know. Something, something heaven. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh yeah. Twitch. I know I've shaved the mustache and I look like I'm eight. I'm of age. I promise. Anyone that is drinking, be of age. All right. Disclaimer done. What are we doing this turn? I have literally just forgot everything. Reach out, alright, gimme. Give Gimme give one sec. I'm out of breath from walking up and down the stairs. Wow, I'm I'm so fit guys. I'm well in shape. Uh, I'm actually an athlete. Don't know if you know. Right, let me catch up. Uh da, 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 da. those XL ships. I'm 30 kilometers away. Wow, they are big. There are swarms of fighters around them. I just can't see them because they're so small. X4 finish. I need to play this man. I'm really confused. You thought it was a small enemy ship, that's just my fleet went for an order to attack. I'm essentially siege in the battle station. Oh, good kind of boogie. That sounds exactly like my thing. Add to the wish list. You have to get DLCs. Da, 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 da. Oh, continuing the gifted sub they got from Akuma Divine. Thank you very much for that, Lord. 689. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Where was I? What was I doing? I literally, honestly, I went downstairs. I like, said a couple of things to my dad and I've just forgot literally everything that I was doing. Right. We, we're attacking dwarves. Yeah. So we're going to continue moving up here and take as many of his settlements as we can. Oh, it's because we're crossing the river. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Your background's glitching. Oh, hang on. Give my, give my, my calm a little caress. I don't know why it's... Oh, hang on. i take the stuff off the door. There we go. It's when there's stuff hung on the back of the door, it doesn't know what to do with it. Right, raise that, get some more scrap. Oh, and the thing it made us do put us over the river. Oh, uh, no, it didn't. Fuck me. <laughs> it almost did. Some redeemed hydrate. Uh, does it count as hydrate if I'm technically dehydrating myself? I could buy all the d DLC. They cost £212? What is it, The Sims? Jesus. Although, I think if you buy all of Warhammer, like Warhammer 1 and 2 and all DLCs, it's about £270. <laughs> And I think I added that up like a year ago. Someone fact check that for me. How much is it to buy all of Warhammer 1 and 2 and all DLCs with no sales? And do it in whatever your local currency is and we'll just convert it. Let's get I'll ask the... And then can I do it because I don't want to... I don't want to say anything. I don't know how much they cost because I'm escaping. Oh, Jedi. You bitch. <laughs> Right, uh, Scar Snake. Yep, yeah, right, cool. Let's get you on the move. I don't think these guys like us very much, but you know, no one does so. Hardly makes a difference. Uh, you have the guy that has a skill point. Let's go for Earthing, so he has better casting potential. We're going to try and move our way over here. I'm also going to do a quick check of how many settlements he's got. Is it even going down? I feel like I just get rid of them. One one is 99 pounds of DLC and one two is 120 pounds of DLC. So that's 219 pounds, wait. Is it 219 pounds? That is ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, before joining the partner program, I bought it all. And it's honestly pretty, it's pretty worth it, to be honest. Like, how many hours do I have in this shit game? I have 887.6 hours in this game. 
Yes, I make videos, right? Yes, I spend a lot of time just sat around looking at units and taking pictures and all that stuff. But it's a really good game. <laughs> like you, you would, you will easily get your. I like to call it your money per hour, and it's how much money did you pay per hour of enjoying that game. And in Warhammer, like I like it to be one pound per hour, and in Warhammer it's several pounds per hour. Except not several pounds. Like I'm probably at the point where I'm sub one pound. Per hour, like sub 50p per hour. That's how much I played. So yeah, Warhammer, good. <laughs> Wait, do I want to do that? Or do I want to get the? Yeah, I probably want to get that. And uh, shall we get that? What made you choose to make videos about Warhammer? Right, I can actually explain this very well because I have the exact notebook that I used when I was first Stein. Right here. In my desk, right next to me. Campus project book. And uh, let's have a look. Right, where is it? Because I wrote down... This is, this is going... Right, like, just fuck the gameplay for a second. I'm just going to tell you my life story here. Right, so I wrote down... Because I, I knew I wanted to make videos, but I didn't know I wanted to, wanted to make videos of. So I wrote down right, games that I can make videos for. And I was like, right, what game do I like and what game do I know enough about? And if I can actually find this, it's all out of order. Like, I've got notes for... This is notes for Lizardmen Guide. This is notes for the tournament. Bretonian notes. Bretonian clips. Hang on, just play with me two seconds. Remember the old days, 2019, myself, Princess, yeah, my TV was OG, good old... Oh. It, was, it was a real classic. It still is, to be honest. It's, I'm still in that stage where, where I'm like, I feel like I'm just kind of finding my feet, but I don't think that ever kind of wears off until you're just kind of there and doing it. Oh, have I, like, got rid of this page? I'm going to be really upset if I have. Wait, race guides. Right, here we are. Found it. Right, so this page here. Right, video ideas. And I wrote down every single thing that I thought I could make a video of. So the ideas I had, Tall War Army Faction Guides... I was playing a lot of Dead by Daylight, so Killer slash Survivor Guides, and then Frostpunk Strategy Guides, and then Guides in general for Strategy, Total War, Frostpunk, and Unbreak Them All, Ash of the Singularity, Banished, Big Pharma, Bloons, Factorio, Jurassic World Evolution, Oxygen Not Included, Put Play, Put, what the fuck is that? Plague? Oh, Plague Inc. Planetary Annihilation, Prison Architects, Project High Rise, Room World, Rise of Industry, Civ, Sins of a Solar Empire, Empire at War, Supreme Commander, They Are Billions, and Tropico. And I decided to do Warhammer 2, and you know what? I didn't even really like Warm 2 that much. Not gonna lie, when I first played it, I played a bit of the Lizmen. I couldn't really get my head around it, and I stopped playing. Same with Warm 1. I played with a friend, and it was the only campaign that I ever finished. But then, I tried Mortal Empires, and I tried the Vampire Counts. And oh, it just... Vampire Counts saved this game for me. So I started work on the Vampire Faction Guide, which is my favourite faction, and it still is to this day, most of the sentimental value. And that's why I started. So you can see here, I mean, you can't really. But I have my notes for it. Hang on. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, I'm gone. I'm disappeared. So, I have the legendary lords Manfred, Heinrich, Hellman, Vlad, Isabella. And then Manfred, his stat units, his faction effects. I wrote this all down by hand for some reason because I didn't believe in, you know, just taking digital notes. I also don't think I had a second monitor at the time, which makes taking digital notes very difficult. Yeah. If you're ever wondering how, if you ever wanted to make stuff online, um, I recommend highly. Just writing down everything. I'm sweating also. I need to like put some shorts on. Uh, I recommend writing down everything that you think you can make a video on. And then just choosing something from that and doing it. Because if you're just going with no idea, you're going to make shit. And no one wants to watch shit. <laughs> okay? I mean, some people watch my shit. But, you know, I feel like I've become very lucky that people decide to watch my shit. Now, you want to make something that gives value. And guides are a very easy thing to make. Because it is... That's how you, it's literally, the value is in it. How do I play this game? And I was coming at that from a person that didn't know how to play the game. So I was learning how to play it and then explaining it to myself in the past. It's like, okay, well, this is how you do it. You use these mechanics and then you go here and you do this. And that's how you do it. So that is the value in the content. I mean, the value in the streams. I know, it's just top bants in it, really. Uh, but yeah, that's my life story, basically. 
prefer people invest more skins in Warzone. Yeah, so why was good time for Yeah, paying that much for, co for cosmetics is pretty ridiculous. Like I play, I've been playing a bit of Smite at the moment, and I own all the gods. I bought the god pack for twenty pounds. Insane value. You get every single character in the game for twenty quid. It's really reasonable. And then all the skins. Like I could buy a skin in that for eighty pounds. <laughs> like one skin and maybe like an emote. It is bananas.